there, people of the internet, friends and family. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, yeah, boy, D Rex, and today we are reacting to a death battle: the Dragonborn versus the Chosen Undead. Now, if you have not seen the official uh, Death Battle YouTube channel release of this video, link in the description. Head over there, then come back and watch it together. And uh, quickly, I wanted to apologize for this video video coming out late. I had a bunch of car problems that had that took priority, had to get all that taken care of. But so now we are here, we're doing this. And you know, since this is another uh, medieval fantasy edgy uh, death battle, what better way to watch this one than is to dress edgy myself? <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I, I can't see on this thing. <clears throat> well, so much for that idea. Hold on a second. Now I know why the Witch King lost. It wasn't because Eowyn was a woman, or that a hobbit had an elvish blade. It's because he couldn't see out of his helmet. And that explains why he had a big giant mace. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Jokes aside, uh, you know, this is a very, very, um tricky one for me i mean uh i mean it, 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 a lot of this this one this matchup reminds me a lot of the arthas and sauron uh fight but it, because you know they pretty much have a, the same powers for the most part i uh, almost like down to the uh you know tiniest detail but i mean there are there are differences i'm not saying they are exactly the same i mean they both can absorb souls the only difference is you know, the Dragonborn can only absorb dragon souls, and, you know, the Chosen Undead, they, they can absorb any soul. But, you know, that actually just brings something up, though, because, um, you know, just kind of like with the uh, Ant-Man and uh, the Atom death battle uh, fight, uh, you know, Ant-Man was able to call in reinforcements, and, you know, the Dragonborn, they can do that, too. He, they, he can, you know, call a dragon some, you know, minor deity or whatever it was. I, it, the lore is just kind of just went right over my over my head but you know he can call in reinforcements to help him but like i just said you know the chosen can just rip the souls out of them and even the, you know the dragonborn he's got a, an ability that can you know pull rip souls out of other people for the chosen undead it doesn't really matter if you rip their soul out or not they can keep on going and you know that's probably the big thing that's probably gonna be a huge factor in this fight is you know can the chosen keep his you know purpose to keep on fighting to keep on moving forward and all that stuff can he keep that drive going because no matter how many times he dies and yeah you know, he would just keep coming back you know like like the terminator just keep on coming back but you know every time they're you know reborn reborn respond or whatever they lose a little bit more of themselves and slowly, you know, dive deep into madness until they forget who they are and what their purpose is. Um, but so it's like, if the Dragonborn can somehow break the Chosen's, you know, will, essentially, I think he's going to take it. And also because um, he does have like a holy blade that is designed to kill the undead. And now the Chosen, you know, they are resistant to, you know, poisons and holy magic, but that does not mean he's immune. So I do think that for, you know, the Dragonborn, uh, you know, that, that sword he has is going to come, you know, in handy for him. And of course, you know, how, I can't remember what it was uh, specifically, but, you know, they said that he has a bow, uh, the Dragonborn has a bow that he can shoot an arrow, you know, and it can reach the sun and like, Two seconds or whatever meaning like it goes f like 200 times faster than the speed of light and it's like like yeah I don't care who you are if you get hit by something that's going 200 times faster than the speed of light even if you have a you know in your own right a quick reaction time you are not gonna dodge that and that is gonna take you out uh, and so but you know and and here's you know, the thing that I do think is going to come in clutch for uh, the Chosen is his ability to cancel spells, like, un like uh, the ability that you know, basically you can't speak. And for the Dragonborn, you know, he's got that shout ability where he basically bends everything to his will and to what he wants. Um, you know, 
that is probably going to be the fact, a big factor. So I, basically, what's going to come down to is, you know, can the chosen keep his will to fight? Can you know his purpose to defeat the Dragonborn? Can he keep that going? And will he be able to, and of course, you know, absorb the souls of you know the Dragonborn's minions to you know power himself up to strengthen himself, and you know cancel out you know the Dragonborn shout ability because if he can do that. He's gonna win, and I do generally believe that is gonna be the case. But on the other hand, you know, the Dragonborn, you know, resilient in his own right, you know, it's that holy, you know, sword. You know, if he can get in and do enough damage with that, I do believe the Dragonborn would win. But given everything all together, I think the Chosen Undead is gonna win. So enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead and watch this. All right, here we go and play. Go and stop this fool who would let the flame burn the age of humans to ashes. The ancients of dark will do anything to snuff out the light. Save us, chosen undead. All right. Using his, you know, enchanted, you know, his shout. Oh you know, yeah, the children's just kind of sitting there taking it. And it seems like the Dragonborn is putting, is putting a lot more effort. And that's, it's a good roll. Come in. Oh, Malatime! Oof. Oh. Oh. Huh. I was a. Like... Oh. Or sorry, I, I made. Did I get that wrong? About that is a. That is a great. I think I might have got that. Oh, hold on. I need to check. Okay, sir. I had to go check back to make sure, I didn't uh, rem remember the, you know arrow traveling thing uh wrong but no i was right the 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 dragon board shooting the arrow to the sun or whatever being 200 times or whatever you know i was right I was just look at the bigger bow i'm like oh it's a bigger bow so you know maybe that's it but no i was right the first time uh it was a little weird though because i thought you know because of if an arrow can travel that fast you know maybe it would do that but i guess you know it's i guess it's sort of game mechanic i forget you know that's kind of factor you know the game mechanics into this, but anyway, moving on. Oh yeah, you can con control time too. Oh, dead, but he's gonna reappear. Yep. Ooh, fire and ice. So pretty much. Witch King and Sauron Part 2. Or Round 2 or whatever. Did I, oh. Called in the reinforcements. I, uh, again, the animation is amazing. Ooh. Oh. Well, there goes that. Ooh. Oh, the the bonfire is almost almost gone. Okay, oh now each is bring out their divine weapon. Ooh. Oh the soundtrack too, dang. It's Oof! Come on! Oh, silence! Yep! Ooh! Oh! Prepare to die! Oh! Save this 
well-chosen warrior. Bring the fire! Let true dark oh. be cast upon the world. Our Lord hath returned. Oh. <laughs> well, no one won in the end. KO! You die! Oh my god, this boss is bullshit! <laughs> this debate was fascinating. The Dragonborn had a wider variety of training, better access to summons, and magic that passively regenerated, as opposed to the Chosen Undead's limited pool of magic. Vow of Silence oh. was a slick counter to the Dragonborn's magic and shouts, but it wouldn't last forever. The Dragonborn was significantly faster, too. The Chosen Undead could dodge beams of light, sure, but Oriel's bow could fire arrows that move at least 250 times that. But none of that Given that the arrow would need to pass through the infinite dimension of Oblivion to reach Magnus, the actual speed of the arrow is arguably infinite as well. Okay. As I went, you know, with the arrows, when I was thinking, you know, it's shooting that fast, like, it would be, you know, that fast, you just wouldn't even see it. But, I guess I had to slow it down for us to see it, or... Anyway! <laughs> mattered if the chosen undead couldn't stay dead. You'd think the Dragonborn's anti-undead weaponry like Dawnbreaker would be an easy solution, but the undead of Dark Souls aren't really the same as Draugr from Skyrim. Skyrim undead are more like those classic reanimated skeletons. But remember the conspiracy. Humans in Dark Souls are naturally immortal. They're not actually undead. Soul tear wouldn't have been much use either, considering humans in Dark Souls can have their souls removed without dying. So why didn't the chosen undead just keep coming back until they eventually won? Like with any Dark Souls buzz. One word, power. The Dragonborn had way more and greater feats of raw power than the Chosen Undead. Okay. Oh yeah, like summoning countries spanning storms with a single shout, or defeating Mirak who split a continent. There's also the lore. Both characters are essentially mythological demigods in the same kind of vein as Hercules or Sun Wukong. Gameplay alone won't give you the best idea of their full power as characters. So mm. let's get an idea of their max potential from the lore. The chosen undead sustaining the first flame with their soul was insanely impressive. Considering the first flame is responsible for the core concepts of the universe, like energy and time, it's not a stretch to say it affects not just the planet they live on, but the whole universe. But that's nothing compared to the power levels in the Elder Scrolls. Let's compare the first flame to Alduin. Both literally run on the power of souls, and both can be directly scaled to our combatants. Alduin had strength to consume oh. the universe, not yeah. just nerd, but... And it will be this way, my little corner cutter, until you have destroyed all that, all that in the world, which you have stolen from earlier, Kalpas, Kal Kalpas? Forgive me, Skyrim fans, if I botched that word. Which is to say, probably never at... All. Okay. But the Kalpa as well. You know those planets you see in the sky? According to cosmology, those are actually separate, infinitely big planes of reality. Alduin was going to eat infinity, multiple infinities. In comparison, the first flame oh. is powerful enough to sustain a universe. Okay. So I guess if you're think the thing about it, it'd be kind of like Unicron from Transformers who you know, in the comics, he almost devoured an entire universe and would just hop across different di different dimensions, timelines, and devour those universes. Okay, that's the scale. I I'm just making a, a comparison here. But uh, let's see. Chosen Undead, greater survivability, resurrection upon death, but will eventually go hollow, too slow and weak to win, more limited arsenal. Can only die Yo, I I... Yeah, okay, some of these I didn't uh, factor in, but you know, it was really this, you know, resurrection upon death. I kind of thought that was would be the edge, but obviously not. And the flow of time, but it can't be infinite. Otherwise, it never would have faded to begin with. And that meant the chosen True. undead just wasn't powerful enough, no matter how many times they revive. Well, uh, Undead that have been significantly hollowed out can even lose their will to stand or move, let alone fight, effectively dead. With that much of a difference in power, the Chosen Undead would eventually lose their will to fight and go hollow. It's not traditional, but it is a form of death in Dark Souls. 
Phoenix. The chosen undead was surely tenacity personified, but still wasn't enough to stand up to the Dragon This the soundtrack is amazing. Arsenal and Brandon Yates, well you did an awesome power. job. The chosen undead could only last so long before they flamed out. The winner is the Dragonborn. All right, well, good for the Dragonborn, right, guys? New death battle releasing every two weeks this year, and click the join button to get new perks and extra content. Planet level members even see death battles before anyone else, so don't miss out. All right, well, let's see. I haven't watched the short preliminaries yet, but I know these are out. These are anime. Uh, I know that. Let's. Kill, kill you a Miss Aka. Okay, so kill, kill you a, and Miss Miss Aka. Anime fans out there, I apologize if I botched those names. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely gonna have to watch the the preview preliminary pre preview preliminaries to get an idea of who these characters are. I have no idea who they are. My exposure to anime is very little. Well, it has expanded a little bit. I mean, I just bought my first two manga books uh, today, so yay! <laughs> um, and if you're wondering what books they were, it was Spy X Family and Komi Can't Communicate. All right, but anyway, uh, some of those things I kind of, I guess I, I did forget that the Dragonborn did do a, had the power to do a continent-wide storm, and I, I, I guess it was just the fact that the Chosen, you know, because he couldn't you know, because he could keep coming back, you know, so many times or what, until, you know, he lost the will and, or the, his flame died out or whatever. But I thought, you know, that could do it enough times to, you know, get the win, especially with that silent ability that he would be able to, you know, like, you know cancel out a lot of uh, the Dragonborn's, you know, mo most powerful ability. But like I said, though, that, you know, the holy weapon, you know, was effective against... I mean, it wasn't a f it was effective, but not in you know, the traditional sense. Since you know the chosen were still human, but they weren't human. Yeah, it's you know the, the lore behind these two worlds is just uh, turning my brain. But regardless, thank you guys so much for joining me in today's video. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you agree with the outcome. If you don't, uh, tell me why you don't agree with it. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and all those good things. And I'll see you in the next video.